Well, hello everybody. It's a beautiful November day. I cannot believe it's this warm out, but it is. So, of course, what do we do on warm days? We take advantage and we get outside and we play. I thought I would introduce to you guys our litters of Welshies that we have just now. They actually have little personalities. So I'm gonna let you guys see them. Look at them, hello guys. Oh my goodness. Well, she's everywhere. Well, she babies everywhere. <laughs> I know. So there are actually two litters of Welsh here. We have some of them have gone home already. Um, some of them are not sold. We have, I think, two sold that are here right now. They're just not um, ready to get picked up yet. Their, their families aren't able to pick them up for a little bit. So we're hanging on to them. Um, but yeah, like, so we've got quite a few still available. Hi, sweet baby. Hello, sweet baby. So I had a pup, he was a little bit older and he would take his nose and he would press it right against my cheek and then look at me in the face and do the next thing. It was the sweetest, sweetest little thing. Um, I was little Hank when I was to BC. He was so sweet. Um, and then the other day I had a puppy being picked up and he did it too. In all of the years I've been breeding, I never had a pup do that other than Hank and then this little boy that went home high. He just, he presses his nose right here sits looks back at me and then pressed his nose right here on this side and looks at me again as if oh look i'm giving you a kiss it's crunchy season with all the leaves look at that yeah i know i know hi hi sweet baby hello You guys want to go see Lucas? Lucas is on the swing. Let's go see Lucas. Come on, let's go see Lucas. Go see Lucas. There's Lucas. <laughs> Puppies. Yeah, they're all coming to be. Yeah, they all want up. Follow Lucas. There he goes. Go get Lucas. They're very sturdy puppies, whereas the English kind of like, as if their bones turn to jelly, <laughs> they just kind of like flop everywhere. Um, whereas the Welsh kind of stay more sturdy. Um, they just have a different structure compared to the English as well. Look at catch me. The puppies are catching him. But yeah, they're just, they're just different as far as like, you know, it's not just a, a matter of looks and color, but like their structure is different from, from the English. They're just not, they're not as floppy puppies. You want to go down? There you go. All of them? That's all of them, yep. One, two, all four, ten five. of them. But yeah, we're I just loving know. having them. Haven't had English for so long and then having the Welsh, it's just, it's just so nice uh, to have something a little bit different. Very similar, but just a little bit different. And uh, more people are hearing about them, which is really cool too. It's a shame they're, they're so rare because they're such a spectacular, spectacular breed. I don't think they get as much recognition. Neg ah! Recognition. They do not get as much recognition as they should, which is a shame because they are spectacular, spectacular. Yeah, I think so too. Like you said that they, they must have heard me talk about them. They all came running toward me. Next one to touch me is, is my favorite. <laughs> Next one to touch you is your favorite. I don't know what that all it takes. Touch, I'm your favorite. <laughs> Touch, I'm your favorite. Next one to lick my hand is my favorite. 
This one's my favorite. <laughs> Look at fine. It's oh my goodness. We have over here watching from afar. They're like, um, we're quite happy sitting here, thank you. We won't get closer than that. We'll watch from here. We may sneak up on them and then hiss at them because how dare they come into my space. Wasn't it Cuddles that loved being near the cat? Oh Dogs? yeah, Cuddles. Oh, here yeah. comes Cookies. Dog, this little dog. messy is the dogs Cookies. Would just come. Yeah, she's watching. Am I sure I want to be here? And she'll come over here, probably walk right up to them and then she'll get mad because like how dare they go in her space when they were here first. She loves daddy. Yeah, she daddy. loves daddy. She was sitting with daddy last night on the swing on the porch and she was just all over him. Swing. A porch swing? The porch swing, yes. yes. We have a porch swing now. I have to show you the progress of my house. It's starting to get to the end stage. I don't know how much more of the thing. There's some things you still have to go through. Jane will be able to kind of go through that and tell you what still needs to get done. Snuggles, oh my goodness, you are so cute. Yes, you are. You want to come up see me too? I like, know, come here then. You come see me too. Hi, oh, you melt my heart. One question I get a lot with breeding is you know, how do you not just want to keep them all? Is it hard when they go? And sometimes it is really hard when they go. For me, I always try to think of the joy factor and what it's like when people get their pups home because they really are so happy and some people when they pick up their puppies are crying and you know that brings me so much joy to know that I was part of that. Um, other times I, you know, if a pup just does something to me like this little one that's being touched in my face, it's the same little one. So yeah, sometimes it is hard. You kind of, you know, tear up when they go, and especially the Welsh. This is the last Welsh um, puppies that we're gonna have for at least probably to next summer. Uh, so we're not gonna have any for, for a, quite a while now. It's just so much fun having them and seeing them grow and develop little personalities and just have such a, they're just such fun puppies and they're so sweet and they have beautiful, beautiful temperaments. We want these guys to all have nice homes and uh, and yeah, so it's, it's I'm a little teary sitting here looking at the planes. They're just, they're a breath of fresh air is what they are really. They're easy to train. They all go pee and poo in the litter box. They're all eating solids now. Mums have, mums have been taken out and, uh, and it's just them with each other and us and so yeah they are they're doing really well and uh, even playing outside i get them out on the nice days that we've had so far i get them outside and just have them in the pens outside and running around playing they get used to the grass and that helps them you know if they go potty on it we get them lots of praise and so then it's uh makes a little head start for training as well and i'm sure i'm going to tear up a lot when these guys are all gone <laughs>